What's going on everyone? Welcome to Movie Emporium's movie review of Immersion, the newest film from director Nick Postoleone. Now, before we begin, if you like this channel, awesome, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium, hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome, hit that like button as well as commenting below on a video to watch, including this one. So Immersion is this new suspense thriller from Chile. It's about a father and two daughters who, while traveling to the summer home of their father, come across this boat that is, of course, sinking with these three individuals on it. The father of the two daughters finds these individuals very suspect and very weird looking, that's what the, that's what the description says, and decides to go off to the summer home. Well, they make a decision to go back and only two of the individuals that are in that sinky boat have somehow made it through and are still on the boat. Well, as you can tell, these individuals and the way the father thinks and the way the father believes starts to make the film make you believe that these individuals are suspectable. They are, you know, maybe have killed their friend or may, whatever has happened. But if you go surface deep, the things you might believe might not end up being the actual real truth. And that's where it comes into play when it comes to our ideas of you know who the person is and you know stereotypes and stuff like that so that's what this type of movie is it doesn't say what they are it just says what the father believes they are whether that's true or not that's the way the movie plays out so I did see this as my final film for the Miami Film Festival, which is now officially concluded. Uh, I definitely say this has been a pretty good year for the film festival. As depressing and weird and dark as the films got, they are also, most, for the most part, pretty decent films. And especially the last three I saw were actually quite amazing. Um, but this is a film that I love this genre. This is a genre where they use the ideas of perception and what is reality and what is not reality and the idea of stereotypes and, you know, racism and stuff like that. And George it into this very suspenseful thriller and so even though i didn't know anything about it or had never seen a trailer for it it's like every other film in this festival i didn't know anything about i was very intrigued by it i thought the idea and concept seemed interesting you have these two guys that say one thing you have the father that believes another thing what's true what's not is how the story plays out and after seeing the film and kind of understanding what the film was trying to go for i definitely i definitely enjoyed the film i think it's an entertaining thriller it leads open to your perceptions of what's reality and what's not and has an interesting arc and eventual conclusion that i felt kind of uh intense and kind of you know well thought out and well presented and that's from the director who once again is in their first film their first feature film and i think this is a great start i think this is a way to learn your mechanics of being a filmmaker and i think the the nick pastilano character or director really did a nice job directing this film it's beautiful look at it. the lakes in chile are absolutely gorgeous this is Sites and sites and places you don't really see very often, especially in films. You know they're coming into the American scene, and I just found this movie very riveting in a lot of aspects. I just wish it would have been a little more, a little more this way than a little more that way. And I think some of the ways you see this movie play out are a little too. You kind of see it coming a little bit, but it's a movie with a lot of great foreshadowing. It's a movie with a lot of great tense nature, and it's a film that really gets in the deep, deep kind of details of just the mindset of human beings when they see people and they believe that they're one thing and possibly they could be another way and that's just a, a really interesting storytelling effect that really is effective you know you look at stuff like Cape Fear and that whole aspect or you look at you know any of these movies that have to deal with like you know people that you don't know look at Funny Games which had a very interesting aesthetic and play out but is that what that type of film is and you know when it tries to uh, you know subvert expectations that's when a movie does it really really well so in the end I really did enjoy this film I think the performances are all pretty good especially from the two individuals that are stuck on the boat looking for their other friend and i think after this film is said and done you know for the 85 minutes that it plays i think it is a very nice top thriller with some really interesting kind of concepts and commentary of the world today in a lot of aspects. So overall, I think this is a pretty good end to this film festival. I think this was a pretty good film. I said, you know, I, I kind of liked it in the beginning, but the more and more you talk about it, the more and more you realize that it is actually a pretty decent film. So with that said, uh, this is a film I definitely recommend, especially if you like those like top thrillers and stuff like that. So definitely go check it out, which is of course called Immersion. Uh, with that said, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've seen this film or if you intend on seeing this film. Does it look interesting from the trailer? All that good stuff. But anyways, thank you so much. But thank you so much. If you like what you see in this video, hit that subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome. Hit that like button. And as always, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.